Now you might be wondering. Oh, the game isn't. Ca oh, there he goes. You might be wondering. Why are we on the title screen? Why aren't we in the game? Huh? Huh? How come that's the case? Uh, there's a very simple reason why. And that is because I ran the scuff check stream just before this. And unlike previously, I guess because we're entering a new area, instead of just outing me out and just kicking me back to before the cutscene started, uh, the game decided to start in the middle of the cutscene every time. I wanted to make sure that we weren't lagging. And so every time I open up the game, it immediately starts with the cutscene. So I just close the game. So when we go in here, you really nothing changed. We wanted to, we needed to enter the chasm to continue with the Archon quest. I went to one of the elevators, or one of the cranes, I guess, to go down into the chasm, and I hit start, and it just brought me down there, and it played a cutscene. So let's get into it. Also, I've realized that Scarlet Nexus kind of got shoved off to the side. I'm sorry about that, Scarlet Nexus. That'll start next week, because I have something to do. I I really want to do something tomorrow. And, ooh, I see a chest. I really want to do something tomorrow, and I also want to... Uh, Danganronpa is trying to be scheduled for Friday. Or not Friday, Saturday. So that's Friday and Saturday taken care of. Obviously, tomorrow is April 1st, and I have some funny things I want to try and do tomorrow. So, uh, Scarlet Nexus will probably be next week sometime hopefully this is oh it's her phew this air sure is familiar it's been a long time since i came down into these mines uh new lady don't get carried chong I for, I for one smell something unfamiliar i don't know how to pronounce these names also i like that if this is like hu tao they just didn't split up the name that's kind of funny I mean, we couldn't jump straight down. Maybe we were just distracted by the swaying of the crane. You've spent too much time above ground. Paimon didn't smell anything at all. Do all you miners have such keen noses? They don't have canaries. So they gotta rely on their noses. A lack of a good nose could forfeit your life down here. That said, we should still be fine. The finches are still quite lively. Oh, they do have finches. And I see a stone back there. Gotta grab that. Agates. Look, the Luminsmar has grown all the way down here, too. That wasn't the case the last time we came down here. Wow, that really did happen. Let's go have a look. You know, it feels like someone just stole Paimon's thunder. Paimon, too? Also, which party are we in? Oh. Oh. Uh. Well. It should be fine. Right? Right? It should be fine. Also, it's very dark down here. We've got Kokomi. And Ganyu. That should be enough to brute force our way through anything the game could throw at us. Oh. I couldn't get it. Rip. Could have really used Kazo out there. Uh, you kind of look like the Electra things, but I'm presuming you aren't like that, so... I'm just gonna go grab this thing, and then wait for the game to explain to me. To think that the Luminspar would appear so close to the surface. I was always of the opinion that these things could not appear in more structurally vulnerable locations. They are fragments of that thing underground, traveling up the veins of the rock before finally arriving here. Oh, that was here. Hey, stop starting such nonsense. They were originally rocks from the local area, which is why they became like this. They just underwent some kind of transformation process and formed crystals, that's all. The analysis that the, the analyses that the Chusin commissioned us to conduct revealed that they are by and large made of ore from the local area. They've just been affected by some outside force, thus creating these strange crystals. Huh, look over there. That crystal looks just like the adjuvant you have with you, Messina. Why don't you take the Luminstone edge of it and have a look? That's right. The edge of it is made of the same material as these crystals. 
These formations will thus naturally react to one another on account of that similarity. How very strange. Hey, is that all you had to say? Uh, don't fight you two. We're not fighting. Yeah, we're not. What I mean to say is, it doesn't matter whether you're fighting or not. Ji Chong and I need to set up a temporary camp up ahead, so don't run off while we're doing that. That raises an interesting point though, they have been bickering a lot more than usual. Although some of it is for comedy. I don't know, that's an odd thing to say. The crystals we discovered will be very useful for our subsequent exploration. If you find anything after this, please make sure to con uh, contact me. My skills haven't rusted away just yet, so I can still help you process some of the raw ore. I believe it will prove quite useful to you in your adventures. And, um, also, don't fight, alright? Got it, got it. Understood. That's a good pair, kiddos. I'll get you some candy later. Anyway, if you find anything strange nearby, please report it in a timely fashion. Actually, do you remember what Jin Wu said last time about uh, Uncle He? That's very weird to re refer to as Jin and not just say what you said. That's interesting. I haven't forgotten. And since you're here, Messina, could you help out once again? Uncle He, he He? What? Is our senior here in the mines. Several years ago, he was one of those who went missing when we chasm miners were dispersed. He's hard of hearing and may not have heard the alerts. The pensions from Hushuan Hall and Shenglu Hall are quite generous, and his family has already lo long arranged for his funeral. But although I'm not much of a believer in the supernatural, I can't feel but I can't help but feel that he's still alive down here somewhere. He really was an old hand. Whether it be avoiding disasters in the mine, how to escape, how to rate for rescue, he knew it all. Taught me a lot of it too. That's why I believe that he must be alive in here somewhere, even now. I won't give up searching for him. I'll point you to a few places where he was sighted before we dispersed. Who knows, you might still be able to find some clues there. As for me, I'll be exploring the deeper parts of the mining caverns. Oh, yes, don't forget your candy now. You're not coming with us? Stay safe. I'll be fine. It's not like I'm an amateur or anything. Don't you worry about me. Alright. I'm certainly not worried about us. Luminstone Adjuvant. When you have the Luminstone Adjuvant equipped, it will provide illumination if it contains energy. Nice. Perhaps the stone relies on a unique key line... Oh, ley line environment. However... And as such, it only works within the underground mines of the chasm. How convenient. Certain special devices and creatures such as lumen lamps and luck light flies can be used to replenish the lumen stone adjuvant's energies. Box to box. Perhaps someone in the expression team can strengthen the power of the lumen stone adjuvant. Box to box. This literally was like the whole really be... three three ways whatever thing with Jiggy was literally just like a test run for there is this. There's still a lot left to do. Also, yesterday I got bored, if you saw there. I got bored and I did something I probably shouldn't have done. And, uh... Sugar? That's weird. And... I pulled down the standard banner because I was bored and I didn't want to... I'm still not decided on any of these two. And I wanted to get... I was at like 64 or something, so I wanted to get to 70 pity. Just to see if I got something. And I didn't. So... Now we'll just have to wait. They run away though. That's kind of annoying. I wonder... There we go. This is cool though. I like this. The idea of a flashlight is a very cool... idea. I really like how they've done this. I assume it runs out too. Beautiful treasures are a cause for great happiness. Uh, let's actually run around as Kaya because he's taller. And also because he has funny voice lines. When the gambling addiction is too high. Hey, Green Lightning Luigi. Actually, I was just about to say, I was going to thank you for following. I saw that at the top of the stream, and I forgot to mention it earlier. Yup. Sometimes you just, I just get that urge. I get bored. There's only so much you can do. And I thought long and hard about it. Huh? Doesn't look like anyone's been here. Recharge. Light up the dark. Interesting. Ah! You know what? You know what? Allow me. You know what? This is long overdue. Born of ice and frost. All right, Kokomi. Oh, it didn't refresh. Rip. 
Oh, did I really dodge that? I remember gambling and not getting coke for me because I wanted to pull so much after saving for so long, so I understand. Yeah. I'll be honest. Uh, that's how I got Kazuha. Like, oh, it sucked away all my light. That's kind of a shame. That's how I ended up with Kazuha. I just, uh... Oh, I've got Corrosion, too, maybe? Or, oh, is that light level? No, that's light level. That's pretty cool. Um... I just got trigger happy with my pulls, and before I knew it, I had Kaza, and I was just like, oops. Uh, maybe I should switch to the Eula team. I don't have any claymores. Come on, Jean. No. Oh, wait. Okay, what is happening with the camera? At least Kaza seems pretty nice one. Yeah. Uh, he's supposedly getting a rerun, isn't he? I don't- n nothing's been confirmed, but... Weren't there rumors of him getting a rerun in 2.6? And like, later on? I'm basing that purely on the fact that I've seen a lot of people talk about Kazuo versus Venti on the subreddit. And I've seen a lot of people talking about, uh... Kazuo reruns, but I don't know. I don't think anything's actually been announced. Oh, so that's what that does. Interesting. I'm here. Crystal Core, thank you. Also, you. Boom. Have fun. It's like that scene from uh, Judge Dredd. Are you okay with the leaks rumors? Yeah, uh, it's kind of just like whatever for me, like, you know, it is what it is. I'm not going to be like, oh, leaks, but you can't talk. Oh, don't talk about leaks or whatever. I mean, if people want to talk about leaks, people want to talk about leaks. Uh, I keep up with them occasionally just because I want to see... Some of the fancy stuff they had. Like, I like looking at the placeholder items that they have. I know the, uh, I need to move my window. I read Ito's before Kazuha and even Zhao, and I'm like, that's... Hmm. That is weird. Freeze. Oh. Actually, I, I think it was yesterday. I hit Friendship 10 with Kaya. So I'm actually thinking... Oh, hey. Thank you. I was thinking about swapping him out for Chi Chi, because this is my commission party for... I don't even know why I'm gathering these. Why am I gathering these? They're iron chunks. What's the hurry? Um, but Quite the fine. I was thinking about replacing Kaya with Chi Chi in the party, and then I realized that like, there's like no energy generation in this party. And I was like, hey, I maybe need that. Finally finished all my characters friendship 10 yesterday and free now. Yeah. I'm really surprised about some of the characters I got to friendship 10. Like there were some characters I actively have like tried to use. And there are some characters that make sense that I got to friendship 10 with. Like, I'm also not looking for clues at all. As somebody who uses Diana and like literally everything it didn't surprise me at all that i have her at friendship 10 or someone who like exclusively uses eula that doesn't surprise me but there are some characters that really surprised me like i got chong yun up to friendship 10 pretty quickly that surprised me a little bit i'm here lizard and i got bennett to 10 somehow too i don't know how how fortunate but there are some characters that I really do wonder about. Like, how did I ever... Ooh. There are some characters I wonder about. Like, how did I get you to Friendship 10? I can't believe I'm already up to 9 on Ganyu. I can't believe I'm in 6 on Kokomi already. Like, uh... Oh, bitrate. No, bitrate. Is a bit cropped out today. Is it? 
Oh. It is. I remember why. Oops, I forgot. After all the problems yesterday, I think I ran the rest of the stream at a smaller resolution in order to not make the game like if you ever want to spaz out. Tactics, I'm always ready. And then I think I just forgot to change it. Oops. Luckily, uh, it wasn't. It's just. It's just the non-important stuff, like the characters and their skills. At least it wasn't like the center of the screen. Bit rate. Bit rate. Why? Come back. Come back. I wasn't sure if it was a mistake or it's like you hit the UI and your model blocks it. Yeah. Uh, that is strategically placed. I do block the ID. Not that it really matters because I open up the menu like every two seconds anyway. So. So like, kind of defeats the whole purpose. But it is convenient. I guess I could put it on the... I guess I could put it on... I guess I could put it on the other side. Oh, come back. Uh, but There's nothing wrong with it would look kind of weird in my mind men. because of where my monitor is. I would be like looking off screen the entire time and I think that would look really weird because I sit with uh, the screen on my left. So it makes sense if I'm on the right because I look left. You know what? You know what? I refuse to deal with this. I refuse to deal with this. Eula? Yes. Okay. That's better. And then we're actually probably going to run around this rod in just because I don't want to have the serpent stacks up to like take random damage from things. Where are we supposed to be going? Where are we going? What am I doing? I'm just running around smashing shiny things as the bitrate like absolutely dies. Come on. Bitrate, please. Please, bitrate. Please. There we go. Anyone you missed or you want to rerun or a character you're looking forward to? Um... I would say... Uh... Child and Hu Tao are both characters that I would like. But at the time, I just didn't... I was just like, you know, I just... It wasn't the right time. Like, I like Hu Tao's animations. I really like her normal attack string. And I like the idea of how her character kit works. But at the same time... I really don't need... I haven't seen a need for a single target DPS. And... Well, this is going to be annoying. And, uh, her playstyle, her optimal playstyle of using charge attacks seems cool, like, mechanically to me, but also it seems kind of boring, just because I play Eula and Ganyu. You don't get any more boring gameplay than Eula and Ganyu. You literally just mash left-click the entire time, or you just press R and aim the entire time. There's nothing more less things. interesting to watch than that. Uh, also, I see you. I'm not going to get you right now, though. I'm going to actually do what the game wants me to do and go investigate. But first, we're going to get this chest. Oh, conveniently, it's right in the same spot, kind of. Hello, treasure hoarders. I know we just talked about last stream, about how we just kind of run up to random enemies and just start attacking them. But, like... You know what? Shut up! That's just the kind of game this is. Like, if random people in Pokemon just want to challenge me to a Pokemon battle when I'm just minding my own business and they just happen to see me, I just feel like, you know what? Want Kaza and might fall for Ilan or Yilan or whatever? Yeah. I like her design. I might uh, pull for her. I don't know. They haven't said what weapon type is. She is, has she? Have they? Is she a sword? Is she another hydro sword? 
She's not a hydro catalyst, is she? I don't know. I don't know if they've said. But she's going to be hydro bow. Hydro bow, that's interesting. Notice. Due to the recent incident, all supply stations built for collaborative purposes will be shut down permanently. Blah, blah, blah. Please leave soon. Uh, members of the Dewey will be arrested as enemy sailor. Okay. Not what we wanted. Diary fragment. Here we go. Some strange black magma is oozing out of the depths of the earth. I'm not sure if calling it magma is precise, but it looks very ominous. Best not to get near it. I went deeper still and retrieved some strange mushrooms. I'm not sure if they're edible or not. Is it right? Okay. The magma seems to have attracted some elemental life forms. Now, if they can eat it, perhaps I could too. No, something's wrong. Something's gone wrong with those little things. I'd better leave. This is surely not to be taken for sustenance. Once you get used to it, mushrooms don't actually taste bad. It might be best to locate to a spot where mushrooms might be found and make camp there. I only have Zing Cho and Barbara for Hydra, so I was like, yeah, maybe Aito, but then I saw you, man. Yeah. Uh, honestly, that's why the no monosil. Yeah, that's that's why I got Kokomi. I was just like, you know what? The ride and rerun really put me in a tough spot of like C two or Kokomi, and you can see the answer. And I was uh gonna be very tilted if I get Mona now. I'm going to be very tilted if that happens. Um, but... No so far, I have not. Want a taste of my but yeah. Hammer. And then Ayato came out and I was like, oh, my guy got another Hydro character. But... I don't know if I'm going to use him. Child is the other character I really wanted. Based purely on the fact that, like... Oh, Diary Fragment. When I get too near to the black magma, my thoughts grow jumbled and my senses become agitated. But then when I stand close to these crystals, these del deleterious effects retreat greatly. I once heard little Jinwoo say that some adjuvant thing can be used to store energy from these crystals. I should ask her about that when I get back to the surface. My ears itch. I can hear someone calling out to me, telling me that there's water in the depths. Mushrooms. Child probably gonna be the first character to have four reruns. Oh dear, I fear that I must be going going quite insane. Yeah. Um what did what was his third rerun? Who did that come between? Who did that come between? Also, I might try to go for that now. Now that we're already over here. Uh I think I'm just gonna go for it. See if I can climb up here. He was between... It was him and Hu Tao, right? Weren't they on the same... They were on the same thing? It was like... Child and then Hu Tao. Is that what it was? And then... Raiden, Kokomi, Child, Hu Tao. Okay, yeah. And then it was... Albedo and Yulo, right? Or was it Zhao? It was Zhao. He had that... He had a, he had a rerun. And then it was... Albedo and Eula. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Uh, but yeah, I think that was the thing. Is at the time I was like, "Ooh, child, Vital, Zhao, all interesting characters." And then the end, I got none of them. <gasps> then they announced Albedo and Eula, and I was like, "Eula rerun, Albedo rerun." And then I got Eula again, and not Albedo. And I still don't know whether I regret that decision or not. Albedo, Eula, then Ito, Xiao, Shenha, Ganyu, Yongli, Rai, Yae, Rai, Yae, Raiden, Kokomi, now Ayato. Yeah. Where am I going? What are you? What kind of Seely are you? Are you like a chasm ceiling? Are you a PowerPoint presentation ceiling? Are you a luminous bug? Thank you. 
Please give me a, a fancy weapon. No. What do we Rip. have here? Uh, where are we going? We're going to this last. Oh, it's. Of course, it's up there. You know what? You know what? We're not doing this. We're using the travel team. All right, let's head off. Yes, this is the travel team. Technically, uh, I could replace Beto with... Actually, I really can't replace Beto with anybody. Theoretically, I could replace Kokomi with somebody. But this is the... I just want to explore. And hopefully I can brute force my way through everything, team. Kokomi is there to make sure we don't die. Kaza and Venti are there to do Kazaha and Venti things and also provide ammo resonance as well as sprint reduction and gliding reduction. Uh, Beto is there as a claymore to smack rocks and also she provides swimming stuff and then Kokomi exists. She makes sure that everyone is alive. And then I teleport up here because I realize I don't really want to climb and then I realize why didn't I do that earlier? You know, you never know. Oh, and I almost jumped off again and I am slowly falling. All right. But yeah. Uh, the Riptide, I think, is also very cool with Child. It's just that... I don't know. I don't like the cooldown between his stances. At the time, I thought that was really kind of weird. But I'm used to lots of downtime on my characters. Really? Oh. Rip. The light is fading. My crystal lamp should last for another four hours. Ooh. There's not much food left. I should be able to find the water filter from memory, but we must find a new source of light. Those lights are floating. Or are they walking? Am I see starting to see things due to a lack of oxygen? These should be the places that Jinwoo mentioned. Let's head back and go look for her. I'm sorry I didn't do the Paimon voice. I need to drink some water. This looks pretty gnarly. I like how this place looks. The darkness is kind of tilting, but the lamp is really cool. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Oh! I didn't even know why I'm flying over here. I probably could have just teleported. But now my lamp is completely out. Rip. Hydration time. Yay, dead air. Anyway. Oh, you're back. Uh, he left this behind. I can't, I can't do names. Huh? He did, he did. Go on then, tell me. You tell Jin Wu about what you found earlier. Wow. Uh, black magma, lumen stone, and mushrooms? Huh, that's weird. And a familiar sort of weird, too. Let's head back to the encampment. It would be best not to linger here. No, I don't want to go. I don't want to go. Oh. We're going down to the camp. Nice. Uh, ooh, what's that? Mysterious pulsing thing in the underground? Yes, please. Oh, it's the Sealy. Interesting. Is there... Hmm. Hmm. Well, this doesn't look ominous at all. Babbling rocks? I don't hear any babbling rocks, though, Paimon. Sounds like a you thing. Are you here to give me Mora? Thank you. Time to go. Are you here to help me springboard? <laughs> the endless dark down below. Dun dun dun. Oh. 
a thingy. You know what? I'm going to save myself the trouble in the future. Future me will thank me for this. Excuse me. Close enough. I only have 11 of those to work with. Uh, hopefully, there are only 11. There are only 10 more. Oh, I thought for a second these were like breakables, but they're not. I guess this is how we get back up. And away we go. Is that a hydro slime I see? Any other friends? Yes, some other friends. If y'all could... Thank you. Think you can get away? Here we go. Oh, that was completely unnecessary. Uh -uh. Have you heard the ballad of the treasure chest? Sorry, slimes. Uh, ooh, mud frog. And away we go. I like this. I was kind of iffy about them at first. Like when that happens. But aside from that, they're pretty cool. Well, bam. Like, where am I supposed to go? Where do I spring pad from here? Am I supposed to be going up higher somewhere? I'm probably not even going to touch chasm stuff for a bit. Honestly? There's probably a lot of stuff I could... Am I just not being close enough? There's probably a lot of stuff I could do. Ah, there we go. But Chasm is new and exciting. Where are we aiming for? Probably over there. Yeah, that's what I thought. I did all the Ankenomi event and Ankh on the last day. <laughs> I think. I think I did that all on the first day, maybe, and then. I went around and I hunted for chests. Oh! I went around and I hunted for chests, and then I actually watched a guide, and I found one that I had missed, and I was very excited about that. And then, just recently, Weasel Thief. Weasel Thief. Weasel Thief. <laughs> oh. Just recently, I Yahoo! got all the sigils completed. <laughs> And that was pretty fun. Oh, that broke it for me. But yeah, Enkonomiya is something... I really like Enkonomiya. Ah, a little bit of lag. Yeah, my throat. But yeah. I know, I'm having a lot of fun using the treasure compasses because I, there's a ton of stuff that I've missed. Um... I was desperately searching for enough sigils to get my sacred sakura up to 50. And now I have like no sigils. And I don't know what to do. Because <laughs> I've gotten like so many chests. I don't all the ones left are all the hard to find ones that I don't want to go through the trouble of finding. Yeah, like 88% done. There's probably a couple more that I'm missing. But they're all the hard to find ones, and that's efforts. Maybe I'll do that in the future, though. Uh, not much of a camp here, you got, guys. Here we are. Strange. Where did Zichong run off to? Hey, Zichong, Zichong. <sighs> I'll wager she's gone off running to some corner of this place to draw her maps again. What's up? She drew this just after you left. She's probably gone deeper into Explore. Please tell her for me that she should quit leaving everyone else behind to go running off by herself. If anything bad happens, we're all going to get dragged under with her. Junyu's fist will know mercy. It will show. Will know no mercy, I tell you. That sounds scary. Pretty scary indeed. Almost like a horror movie. We're going to split up in the dark. All right then. Less idle talk, more action. You can either help myself here, or you can go scout ahead. 
Sorry if I'm not the most courteous character. I just want the things I do to be of use to everyone. Ah, yes, by the way, if you see some raw luminstone ore along the way, bring some to me. Yeah, I'll find a way to turn some them into more effective adjuvants. As far as my experience can tell me, these things will be very useful in the mines. That's pretty cool. Oh, right, because this is technically part of... Yeah, never mind. Luminspar and Luminstar, Luminstar or... Hello, Jinwu. I'd like to refine the edge event. Can I do that, please? Oh. How many levels are there? Ten? Are they eight levels each? I assume they're eight levels each. So there's 80 of these things. What do we get? Two acquaint faint. Uh, gold. Prosperity. A crown. Diligence. Two acquaint faint. Not acquaint faint. Inter oh, wait, acquaint faint? Yeah, acquaint faint. Uh, gold. Intertwined. Billet box. And the real reward, this fancy name card. Cool. So, that's at least four pulls on the standard banner. That's exciting. Hopefully I can get early pity. Ad hoc. Oh, that's pretty funny. Um, I'm actually gonna go here first. Because... Unlocking the waypoints, I find, is much more useful than just going to the quest, because sometimes you'll have to go somewhere and you can put in the legwork beforehand. I saw a tip that you can use aiming mode in order to make sure you don't fall off. I'm just going to trust that I can run in a straight line. This is pretty cool. I like this. That's a neat concept. I was wondering if you could run across these in the other space. That's pretty nice that you can. Uh, there's also a nice... Oh! Well, that's not as nice. But... But luckily... There's a handy little jump pad here. That's very convenient. Thank you. Now, if only we could have one of these over by... Not snar uh, Star Snatch. What's the other one? What's it called? Uh, by Stormbearer. It'd be nice if we could have one of those right, right there. That'd be nice. Hello, Seelie. I'm currently getting distracted and doing things unrelated to the mission. Oh, well, that's not very nice of you. Please don't attack me. Please don't attack me. Please don't teleport to me. Thank you very much. Nice. I'm starting to lose count. Thank you for that, Mirror Maiden. I have no desire to fight you. Not right now. Not with this team. Supposedly there's an agate thingamajiggy here. Ah. Interesting. Thank you. Present me. Future me thanks you. Billboard. We're not going to read that now. There is this thing, though. Am I missing something, or is it a timing thing and I'm just not getting them in time? Oh, wait. There we go. Nice. I'm oh. starting to lose count. I am too, Beto. I just want. What are you? The badman. Oh, I see a thingy. 
the new regions. Uh, low attention span, the game. Is that a chest I see? What are you? What is this? What are you? Activate. Huh. Interesting. Wait, wait, wait. Where have you been hiding? Oh. Ah, no. Stay away. Keyboard. No. It's dark. I can't see anything. Quick. Uh. Emergency NVIDIA filter. Come on. There we go. Now I can see. I can see now. Ah, no. Don't hit me. What are you? What are you? What's happening? The music's pretty cool, though. I like this. I have no desire to fight you. Please let me run away. Please let me run away. Thank you. All I want to do is get this thing of a jiggy, which I think is up here. I lost track. It is. Thank you. Oh, this is that's really bright. What a wonderful view of you. Oh! Rude. And then, uh... Oh. Well then. How do you propose I get up to you, good Lumen Stone? I see one down there. Oh, bit right. It's time for the hotfix. I just noticed. It's time. Yes, there we go. Uh, where did they go? They go in here? We got seven. Okay. This will be the last one, and then we can upgrade it. And while we're at it, we might as well take out these treasure hoards as well. And I'm going to turn off my filter. There we go. So I should have light. Yes, there we go. Now, for treasure hoarders, I think the good old Karagi is good enough. Brace yourself. <laughs> These animations look kind of bad, but I think my settings are all right. Maybe I changed something, and I just don't remember. Wait, I'm Barbados. Uh, I assume y'all are judge. Uh, oh well. I'm sorry to interrupt your work, but the game demands that I get my loot, so. I guess we're. Yep. Sometimes. The ballad of the treasure chest. It's just what happens. Sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. Thank you. Now, you, sir, I have no beef with you. I merely want to get to this thing. I believe where it will require these sealies. And I see one. And I see two. Um, so I guess we just swim. I'm pretty sure I have bloom on. I don't know. Things just look very clear. I don't know. Things look... Maybe it's the lighting. It might be the lighting making things look a little different. Oh. How convenient. Oh, it's... It sucked away my light. Um... Well, bam. No, no. Oh, well, okay. Well, okay. There we go. Up here. Here. Oh. Oh. Okay. 
There we go. I know the game looks a lot. I know the lines seem a lot thicker. So that could just be me. Okay, so that puts out there, that puts out there. Now, unfortunately, this treasure hoarder is gonna have to go just because they're proud. Well, they might not. If they just let me take the Sealy, then it'll be okay. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Sealy. Up here. Oh no, that wasn't a Sealy. That was a gust of wind. Wait, so where's the Sealy? I've lost it. Sealy? Sealy? Hello? Sealy? Sealy? Oh, Sealy. Oh. Big jump. Where's the Sealy going? This way. Oh. That treasure hoarder respawned in. Forge guide. You say so. Oh, it made a wind gust too. Thank you. A fateful offering. Follow the wind. Oh. Well, I guess that's pretty far up. Anyway, now that we've taken that diversion. Let's upgrade this thing, Majiggy. Refine. Enhance. Wow. And now I need uh, Luminstone Ore. I think I saw one of those down there. But for now, let's count. How many of these have I marked? One, two, three, four, five. So there are four that I've gotten that I haven't marked. I have to remember that. Time to go. Oh, it wants us to go down there. Uh, well then. <laughs> All right, Cosmo. Quick, we got to do something cool. Got to do something cool. Land on the cart. I wanted to land on the rope, but this is fine too. Oh, we got three bars. Here she is. Is she gonna actually be like evil or something? Did I change something? No, everything's the same. Why does it look so weird? It's gotta be the lighting. Ah, it's you! You're here! Jin Wu has some words for you. It's the hell's feel about safety again, isn't it? I'm sick of hearing it already. I grew up in the mines too. What wouldn't I know about the hazards down here, huh? As for any unknown dangers, eh, our seniors always say, always used to use their experience to judge whether things were dangerous or not. And in the end, they'd use the results to rationalize their experiences instead. I've had enough to hear with their arrogance. I'm sure you feel similarly as a senior adventurer, don't you? If Iris is able to scare you off climbing Dragon's Fine just by giving you the standard safety talk, you would have missed out on so much adventure. Alright, stop trying to persuade me. I don't want to argue with you over something this dumb. Can we just, you know, change the topic? I mean, look over there. I'm currently studying the terrain over here. All the better to draw our maps. It's just that I found out the way ahead is blocked by some strange stuff. If you could take some samples or pictures of it, I'm sure both the Ministry of Civil Affairs and the Adventurer's Guild would be quite pleased. I would have done it, but I dropped my camera while descending into the mines, so I can only rely on you now. Also, there are a few other spots. Uh, yep, here and here. I found the tracks of treasure hoarders in these areas. Sorry, which place is where now? Paimon didn't understand you at all. You just drew a bunch of X's and lines. Uh, sorry, force to have it. I always forget that not everyone is born with natural instinct for cartography. But it's alright. I'll follow you and show you the way ahead. Please don't. We can approach any of these few locations first, so pitch whatever you like. In that case, let's go. Please don't be an escort quest. 
Please just mark them on my map. Thank you. Wait, what? Complete the following quest and complete... Wait. Can I do that? What? What do I have to do for this one again? <gasps> okay, we can do this. Okay, 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 okay. We're doing the Archine quest. Sorry. Oh, what's your face, Ji Chong? We're not doing. We're not doing your thing anymore, unless it's some place that we haven't gotten to yet. Fine. All right, game, you win. I don't want to go into this place without an, without a map. Fine, fine. Twist my arm. Oh, and I missed out on that one lumen stone I saw. I saw one earlier, and I see another one here. Interesting water flow you got here. I really like the design of the underground the chasm. It's been pretty cool so far. It's not really what I expected at all either. I don't know what I was expecting, but it definitely wasn't this. It looks so... different. Oh, that was the wrong button. Alright, Venti. Help me not fall off. As we... Head on up. Oh, there's a teleport. There's also a bridge up there. Oh, Mirror Maiden, is that you? Oh, no, no, Mirror Maiden. Yes. Thank you. Please, no. I don't want to fight you right now. Time to go. You're right, Kazuha. It is time to go. It's time to book it out of here. We're running away. Please don't chase after me. Please don't attack me, my guy. Hey. Well... I can't be held responsible for this if you decide you're gonna attack me if you're on the court. There we go. Head to investigate the first site of the anomaly. Can I just hit you from here? I can. enough of that. I'm just gonna ignore you. <laughs> oh hey, a lumen stone. I like the dramatic music for the slime. Hold the line. Well, bam! This looks like that dark thingamajig we saw earlier. Huh? Have you seen this before? That's right, and Jinwu told us to warn you to be careful too. And did you listen? No. Uh oh, well, that's not great. L oh. And they've seen me. This is why we have the power of animo. Yes. Well, no. I'd very much prefer it if you could both teleport over here. Thank you very much. No. Please, please. Yes. Yes. And then another. Please teleport over here. No. No. Please teleport over here. Please. No. 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 
And, uh, and uh, brace yourself. If you could also do one of those. And then if you could be so kind as to do one of these as well. And also one of these, and also if you wanted to say... Oh, well, that kind of put a dent in my plan. Oh, and that's not the right one. Oh no, that's not the right character. No. And then, just so you don't fall. Oh, well, you didn't get... There we go. Okay, you know what? Something's amiss. There weren't monsters here before. There sure weren't, and now it's dark. And now I can't see. Curse you, purple orb. Kind of reminds me of, uh, Skyward Sword. Yeah. The second place. Where did it go? Where did what go? The anomaly is here. Keep following through the tunnels. I'm not sure if I want to keep following through the tunnels. Is that... Oh, who was that? Did you see that? No, I didn't. Anyway, stop shouting. I wasn't being very noisy. Was that what's her face? Was that the lady? Is that the lady? Oh, <gasps> new character. They were right. She really does have Eula's boots. It's pretty funny. Let's get up here. And let's glide on over. What are you? Where'd the next one go? Where is it? Is that it? Is that it? Huh? Whatever. It's time to move on. There's the other thing of a jiggy I saw. Is that another one down there? I am not looking forward to getting that one that was in that top little crevice. That did not seem like a fun time. Might have to start busting out the interactive map pretty soon so I can make sure that I can clear my pins. I only have three left, and here are two of them. Well, excuse me. What did I? Excuse me. The wind knows. Here we go. Who says there aren't benefits to a Sack sword might be pretty beneficial here, just so I can swirl more. Are you a Lumen Store fragment? Please tell me you're a Lumen Store or a not Noctilus Jade. Although Noctilus Jade's pretty nice. Two more. And then we're going to be out of luck. I lost a lot of health, too. Oh, from the Abyss Mages. Stay away from me. Y'all 
Miasmas, stay away from me. Ooh, a chest. Well, we'll just leave that for now. Ah! Not cool, my guy. Also not cool, my guy. Brace yourself. Allow me. Yahoo! Extra not cool, my guy. <laughs> now, if yes, if you could come over here, that'd be great. Love that. Ah. Oh. Whoa. All right, my guy. Think you can get away? We'll fight down here then. Hold the line. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Interesting. Well, since we can recharge, I'm just going to stand here and Took both of them away from me. That's very nice. Thank you. Quick, Gazo, get away from here. Oh, a viewpoint. And another thing with Jiggy. And no Lumen Store ore. It's our last. Why don't I have any pins? He says to himself. Oh. Right. Because marking every single face gate takes a lot of your pins. Now, there's one down there. But that's not the direction we want to go. The direction we want to go is down here. You put the block path. I don't know what this does. I'm sure it'll be explained. Oh! You're the stuff, aren't you? Right? You're the stuff. Oh, you're not the stuff. I've been had. I've been debated. It is not the stuff. They are, in fact, crystal chunks. I thought I had found Lumen Spar, or Lumen Stone Ore, but I have not. I have been had. The game has tricked me. You know what? Maybe we don't go that way. Just because I don't want to fight y'all on the bridge. Nothing against y'all personally, but I just don't want to take that time. I don't want to get to the point where like, oh, I'm stuck and like, I kind of have to fight you now. I'd rather just avoid that completely. Just like... Ah. Thank you for that game. Oh. Oh, those are just animals. I thought they were weasel thieves. Well, we have lots of lumen spar. We really just need the or hopefully we'll get some pretty soon. I wonder what it, uh I wonder what the Oroks look. 
Of course. Everyone get over here. Brace yourself. Time for takeoff. Here we go. It's time to do the Venti special featuring treasure hoarders from Devil May Cry. Open door. Hello. Who are you? You look like a... Uh, oh. Kotofo? Clidofo? Clidofo? Clidopo? Phew, thank you for saving my life. Wait a moment. I remember you. You're that Toklafo guy back from the mine. Uh, what? No, that wasn't... I don't take any fake medicines. I'm Clidofo, yes. I'm not the one who's that's into pharmaceuticals. No, sir. No, 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 no. Ah, so the medicines you sold are fake. What? No, impossible. The medicines I sell are 100% the real deal. I mean, you saw the miners. They drank it and they felt great. And didn't you say you were the non-pharmaceutical Clitofo? Clitofo? Uh, 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 right, that was after my life selling medicines ended. And it all ended when that, when, when that Toklafo sold fake na fakes under a false identity. He sold fake medicines using a false name and ruined my reputation. That's right. That's why I swore off se selling medicines forever. Yup. <laughs> and just as I was changing tax, I was attacked by that band of treasure hoarders. But yes, that charlatan is truly despicable. Yup, he's a real piece of work. To want to trick those in the same business as him like that. And so what was the false name of this Toklafo again? Uh, Glidofo. Oh, wait, no, wait. Glidofo isn't a fake name, it's a real one. Doesn't that make Toklafo a fake name? No, wait, yes, yes, he took my name falsely, so Glidofo is now a false name. We're clear now, right? Oh, so Toklafo became the real name. What a shame. What's a shame? You nearly confessed without us having to try too hard. Let's take him back. The Millilith have a lot of questions for him, most likely. Or the video is in right here and now. What? What? Hey, this isn't the time for such jokes. Paimon thinks it's really pretty funny. But... You're not laughing, and no, this isn't funny at all. You're right, actually, because... We're about to get serious. <laughs> Wait a moment, this isn't the time for an interrogation. I don't know about you, but carrying a treasure hoarder you scared half to death around doesn't appeal to me one bit. Either way, let's take him back to the camp first. Hey, 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 take me along, would you? I'll be very useful to you. I mean, as you can see, I've been kicked out of the treasure hoarders, so now I'm an upstanding citizen again, you know. Oh, so that's what counts for upstanding citizen to you, huh? And what are your skills again? I can make explosives? Not fake medicine? No, no, he said, what was that? He said, what was that? Why did it skip? And your explosives aren't fake either. No, they're for real this time. Ellipses. I'm not at liberty to include you on the team. As for how we should deal with you, Jinwoo would be a better judge of that. But I guess she'll just hand you over to the Malola. But we'll keep an eye on you. All treasure hoarders are not to be trusted, let alone someone who fake sells fake medicine. Oh, come on, I don't do that anymore. Oh, we know, we know. Let's go, shall we? Anymore, so he did it in the past. Haha, ha. funny joke. The alchemist. <laughs> the alchemist. Who comes up? Who writes these? Uh, is that a teleport waypoint over there? Now, how do you propose we get over there? I say we go this way towards where we want to go. That's generally a good way to get somewhere. They go towards it. Oh. It brings a smile to my face. 
face. Well, losing all my energy doesn't bring a smile to my face, Kazaha. Excuse me? For one chest? What's the point of upgrading? <laughs> I guess so I have more time to get away from the icky stuff that sucks away the light. Ooh, a crystal fly. Oh, I saw- we saw a spider yesterday too. That spider thingamajiggy that blocked the way. If I can get up here. And it shot the web, and the web was like a homing missile. And I was just like, what's up with Mihoyo and homing project- Oh. Homing projectile enemies. I thought I got stuck for a second. Interesting. Go to the second occupied camp. Hmm. This reminds me of another game. What was it? Oh, uh, what was it? What comes to mind is Ori, but I know it wasn't Ori. Says there aren't benefits to a life of wandering. What was it? Oh, I just oh. Time to go. Uh it's gonna bug me now. Uh Venti. You're up. Brace yourself. There's a huge cannon here. Let's go have a look at it, shall we? But first, recharge. You get so many out of these. Really is the place to be mining. All right, cannon, let's go. The locking mechanism hasn't rested away yet. In fact, it looks like it's been lubricated. Looks like someone maintained it even after the mine was sealed. The breach also looks whole. It's just that the safety is currently locked down. What is he talking about? The tunnels ahead will, were, uh, were sealed using large rocks when the miners were dispersed. Looks like that's where we're going to need to use this cannon again. But without any shot, cannons, no matter how large, are useless. As such, we need to find ourselves some. That's not true. If it's a big enough cannon, you can just run it through like a battering ram. <sighs> Don't say it like I didn't already know that, Mr. Know-it-all. There's a storeroom nearby that should contain the cannon shot. Then they luck, not all of it has moved away and the miners were dismissed. Let's head that way then. Let's go. Huh, interesting. Actually, can I perhaps omni ubiquity net you, my fair rodent? Oh, I can. It's a weasel. Weasel impact. When equipped, okay, it has, uh, yeah, that's what I thought. I was going to say, can I just not equip this? No, we have to have it equipped. Where are we going? Oh, there's a teleport waypoint up here, too. So let's also try to get to that as well. Uh. Hmm. Really hard to get around this part. But maybe you can squeeze through, my guy? Yeah. 
Look at him go. Yeah, there we go. It kind of reminds me of Until Dawn a little bit. Just like the underground part. Oh, maybe this is Lum... Wait, are you perhaps Lumenstone? I've lost all my stuff, but are you perhaps... I'm still not sure what I'm supposed to be looking for for Lumenstone. Because, like, I thought maybe this was it, but turns out this is Noculus Jade, and then I thought the other stuff was it, but turns out those are Crystal Chunks. So, I'm not sure. I do know we need to go down. Deeper. We need to go deeper. This is the place. <coughs> ah, the gate's locked. Looks like we'll need to use two keys at once to open the door. Oh, come on. Why are you leeway people so conscientious about the silliest things? Ah, uh, cut the useless chatter. See that notice pasted next to the gate? Nothing else that tells us that our cannonballs can be found within. Why don't we just blast open the gate? Well, that's one thing, but how do we know if the fuses have been well preserved or not? I wouldn't get our hopes up yet. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, great. We have an optimist over here. Cut it with the quitter talk, would you? Seriously, what am I doing listening to a treasure hoarder doubt us left and right? Either way, we need to get the gate open. Exactly. Don't you two fight, all right? All right, let's continue. Maybe Jin Wu knows how to open this gate. We'll be pretty busy after it opens, too. We'll have to activate a signaling device to get the breach open. Jin Wu said there should be an observational point for the demolition team that overlooks the cannon, and we'll be able to adjust the signal from there, which will let us unlock the cannon from a safe distance. How convenient. I'm gonna grab this one, since we're on the ground floor. I think I'm out of pins, right? Yeah, last pin. So with that in mind, um... Ooh, 20%. This is the part of the stream where I pull up the interactive map. And, uh, I start marking these things. So I can delete them. And while we're at it, I actually think, because it's just going to be me silently, so, oh, the bitrate has gone away. I think uh, we'll go on intermission. So, wait, how big is the chasm? Uh, this big. About as big, big enough to fit about 80 of these thingamajiggies in here, from what it seems. And the bitrate is going away. Uh, but yes. I would like to... System in... What? Okay, whatever. Um, I would like to mark these so I can delete these because I've run out of map pins. And I'll mark them on my end on the interactive map. And... I'm also just going to go on intermission. So, I'll just transition over. And... I might get some more water too. So it'll be a little bit, a couple minutes maybe, and then we'll continue on with the quest. And then it's already five o'clock. Wow. Um, that sounds like the, the plan. So away we go. See ya in a what? Five, ten minutes? Seven minutes? Seven minutes? Seven minutes?
All right. And I have marked all these on the map. So we can now get rid of these. Thank you for going away, Bitray. I love to see that. I am for now continuing to power on through the fact that the bitrate went down to 84. Historic low, if aside from counting zero. And hopefully it goes back up. The bitrate is currently well over what I have set the bitrate to be. And it looks like we are good to go. So. Let me grab this while I'm down here. Down here at the bottom. On the ground floor. And what? Do we get... Do we get the other stuff from quests or something? Because, like, I looked at the map. I looked at the interactive map. I didn't see anything that said Lumen Star, Lumen Star Ore. I only saw... Did it un... Oh, that seemed fast. Uh, it might have been kind of fast. I might have been overestimating how much time it was going to take. Oh, yeah, we ju we just need to get it as crest quest uh, crest what crest quest rewards, not toothpaste rewards. Uh, bit right. Why do you do this to me? Bit right. Why? What have I ever done to you? Fair bit right. Fairly well. Bit right. Um. I'll have to really get this sorted out. I think I will just maybe revert to some old uh, driver settings. Because that's really like the only thing I can tactics, think it could be. Oops. Genshin moment. <laughs> it's all thanks to you. Please take this. Thanks. Stay away from my personal bubble. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on. There's no need to be so polite. I mean, oh, that was pretty fun. Way. That was funny timing. I mean, Khadiv's the one forking at the Mora. Oh wait, shh. Best we be quiet, unless that stingy scholar from Sumeru hears us. Um, <clears throat> Shall we go and look for Jinwu? We can probably probe her experienced mind concerning some of the questions we had on the way. You know, something. Jinwu doesn't like talking about this, but just like how you're famous for your exploits on Dragonspawn, she was also quite the famous figure down at the mines. <clears throat> I heard that she helped us guide the Mililis search parties, and that they saved a lot of people together. Still, those things are in the past now. I shan't mention them too much, lest she gets mad again. This cop seems very suspicious. Alright, I won't keep you any longer. Hopefully she's not Tepe 2.0. Ah, you're back. Huh. Bidifo? What are you doing here? Uh, well... You know this guy, Jinwoo? Yeah, he used to sell fake medicine above ground. He'd go around advertising this real man's meds nonsense, only for the workers to buy it and find it was just Valberry jam. Well, not that it was harmful. It was pretty cheap and pretty tasty. It was chilled and nice too, so in all things considered, it was a way better deal than drinks purchased from a long way in the city. So, you've fallen into the treasure hoarders in the meantime, have you? Uh, you could say that, kind of. How did you know that he... You got a lot to learn, kiddo. I didn't spend 20 odd years of my life down these mines for nothing, you know. You can wash the soot off your face, but you can't change the color of your hands. What? You can't change the color of your hands or died. Alright then. Tell me what I can do for you. We don't feed idlers around here. He claims he can make explosives. He mocked up every job the Church of Orders gave. <laughs> well now, guess that alchemy you learned has finally been put to some use, huh? Well, we do need a demolitions team at the moment. Wait, didn't we get in touch with the demolitions expert from Mondstadt? Why do we need to count on him, Klee? Oh, you mean her? So, Mooning received an apology letter this morning, saying that the kid had blown the stove right off this restaurant called Good Hunter and got grounded as her- It is Klee. Even her... Guardian, I guess? This guy called the Cavalry Captain, I think. Either way, he was grounded too, and he was supposed to come with her. 
I'm not sure what this is. Maybe it's some kind of code for people in Mondstadt? Either way, she's not coming. Uh, who might that might be? Should we call this fortune or misfortune? Who <laughs> the who would actually be the safer choice? Oh. Huh, so even you think so, huh, Messina? Well, I guess it's your lucky day, Clitofo. Clitofo? Uh, I don't know. Come on, Zing, uh, Zichang. Clitofo here learns from, hears from Mondstadt, so he's not too far off the mark from what we were looking for. He'll serve. Thank you, Jinwu. Thanks so much. I guess I can count, I count as a member of the team now. Once you've proved your worth. Well, I've got no faith in this fellow. I hope there's a new co-op event soon. Aw, oh, that'd be nice. I hope we get more bosses like uh, the Fellflower and Beisht. I like those. The demolitions team is a key appointment. Lives will be at stake. We're giving this to a treasure hoarder. Quit your yammering, you. I've known this kid way longer than you have. He's not a bad person. Never had the courage to anyway. Just give him some time. So, other than meeting some new friends, were you here for anything else? Well, the path to the lower levels has been sealed off by stone, so we're going to use the Mountainator to clear that path. Mountainator? <laughs> the Mountainator? Huh? What are you laughing about? The Mountainator, they called it. Stop kidding. Hey, come on. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, call me old-fashioned, but in the engineering department, we called this the Safe Blasting Mechanism 2156. But I suppose Mountainator works too. It's a cute nickname, no doubt. If you want to use that cannon, it's a shame I wasn't part of the demolition uh, crew. I need to take care of the camp over here. Still, I think you should be able to find a manual nearby. I liked Windtrace. Um... I got Windtrace a little bit confused with, uh... The Windbloom Festival. So I was a little disappointed that it wasn't Windbloom, but I like Windtrace. Um, I think it's fun, especially after you've gotten your challenges done. It's really fun to mess around in Windtrace. Ah, right. I also believe that the keys to the facility have also been hidden separately in two different water water filtration devices. Let me mark them out on the map for you. Um I also know they nerfed the whole, like, hiding inside items things now that you have, like, hitboxes. But I found two pretty good strategies, in my opinion. One of them was some of the items can clip into things into the map, and then they become invisible. <laughs> so, there's that. And the other one was just to, like, position yourself in a natural way. And then just, like, subtly move into a place that the hunter has already been. And then you can pretty much avoid them most of the time. Wait, what? Isn't that the same thing as hiding your house keys under the doormat? What kind of security measure is that? Imagine Windtrace Part 3 running in chasm tunnels. Oh, rip. I, I don't even want to... I don't even want to think about that. I don't even want to think about Windtrace on, like, Watatsumi Island. Or anything like that. The the I the wind trace inside Dragon's Spine was already painful enough. I don't want to do that in the chasm, potentially without lights. Well, you say that, but the chasm was never a place that ordinary people could access, even if people with other intentions entered. It's not entirely likely that they would immediately think to find the two keys in such obvious places. Am I right, my treasure hoarder friend? Uh well, Urge wasn't able to find the storehouse keys, that's for sure. What? That idiot doesn't count. But anyway, I need you guys to continue working on these maps, so... I leave Clitho to you guys. You're not worried about him? I'll keep a close watch on him. Who knows if he's got some poisonous plan against us. Even if Jinwu trusts him, I won't let my guard down. I can't be at ease until he's in the hand of the Millilith. Keep an eye on this guy. Don't even give him a chance to try anything. Alright, now that you know where the storehouse keys are, don't disturb me any further, alright? By the way, have you seen some raw luminstone nowhere on the way here? You must have seen some raw luminstone on the way here. If you need to, come look for me and I'll help you polish them up. They're actually pretty good adjuvants down in this place. They seem to have the power to restrain the encroachments of that black mud-like substance, almost as if they were born to be enemies. The principle of how that works escapes me, though. 
What can I say? I'm just not all that learned outside of my profession. But once you see that thing, I think you'll understand. Oh, a bit right. No. Come back. There we go. There we go. Also, Apple. I would like to refine it. Thank you very much. Oh, it alternates. Or maybe... We just need to get that first Lumen Stone and now we can... The smell coming from the mines has changed again. Interesting. Where we... Heavenly Stone Debris. Look for the two keys. Did I see Free Wish Tree? Yep, time to, uh, speed your own. Yep. You get, I think it's four quaints and two intertwined. And a crown and a name card. I'm excited about the name card. It looks pretty nice. Well, it doesn't look that nice, but the colors are pretty. Recharge. Collect five geo particles within 40 seconds. Hmm. Seems kind of insulting, if you ask me. I guess that's why we get a common chest for this. Oh. An exquisite chest. The more wow. the merrier. The first round's on me. Wow. Moving up in the world. Can I crawl through the floorboards? Can I get up over here? I can. I don't know what this accomplishes, but I can do it. <laughs> oh no. Wait. 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 Oh no. Wait. Oh. And now it's dark. Oops. That was pretty funny. I'd love to see... Uh, the use of something like that in the game, though. Like, in an event or something, like some sort of sneaking around. Oh, but there is that parry event. I'm really excited for that. The event where you can, like, parry, or you're gonna have to, like, parry attacks or whatever. The sword fighting event, like the sword masters thing. I'm excited about that. That's gonna be a pretty good event in my mind. I like the combat events, and I like the combat events that have like a gimmick like that. Because then it makes it like a lot more fair, I guess. It's not something where like you're using characters like it's something where the more of the merrier you can't the just brute i mean you can probably me. brute force things but you can't just brute force things you actually have to like think a little bit and i guess it wants me to go well bam And... I guess I'm looking for a key now. Well, if Zelda has taught me anything, it's that sometimes you just need to start smashing things. Oh. What do you know? Ooh, tied a key here. Reminded to use that transformer gadget. Oh. The parametric uh, thingamajiggy. Yeah. Now, is this up in the sky? Is this far above? It is. It's that one. Annoying. I always <laughs> forgot and saw mine. Yeah, I haven't used mine in like several months. 
I used it like uh, whatever it would have been off cooldown, like last week or whatever. And I was like, oh yeah, that's a thing. I only thought of it because I saw a, a post on the subreddit talking about how what you put in de uh, determines what kind of items you get out. And that... Yeah, you can use the magical crystal chunks and you can get enhancement ore without having to use your resin at the blacksmith. Uh, I can't see them, but hopefully this goes well. Come on, Venti, aim. Please. No. Seven seconds. Where is it? Rip. Oh, and it costs you every time. Actually, why am I doing this? Why am I trying to do it from over here? Why am I acting like this is something I have to do at range? Boom. Easy. Please give me a messenger bow. I beg of thee. It says it comes out of exquisite chests and higher. Or unique and higher? If that's the case, I might be done for. You suck the light out of me. What do you do? I don't know. What do you do? Messenger bow? Yeah, I don't know. There are people talking about it. Alpha, I can... What are you? Whoa. That's pretty cool. Well, bam. No, 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 no. Mm. There's a... You know how you have the Dark Iron Sword that you can only get one copy of? There is a... And like how you can only get so many copies of the White Tassel or White Iron Greatsword or Skyrider Greatsword or the Otherworldly Story. There is a... What are we doing? There is a another test subject. One with nature. Time for takeoff. Yeah. Bow called the messenger bow that has a crit damage substat that supposedly only drops from chests in Leoway. Should I place my hammer? Not that I can confirm this as I have none, but I'm desperately trying to find some. It is the only um, chest exclusive or limited weapon that I don't have, and it irritates me. Yeah. Well, bam. Think you can get away? Brace yourself. Ha! Hold the line. So I'm hoping I can find another one. Very kind of y'all. Uh, have you heard the ballad of the treasure chest? Oh. Oh, it's a little thing, the jiggy. Well, bam. Oh. Ah. Seems like a weird place to hide a key. Paimon agrees with me. It is a weird place. How would you even do that? What? You put a key into a crevice and then you collapse the crevice and then you put an explosive barrel hidden nearby? Seems kind of bizarre. But hey. I don't make the game, I just play it. I'm Yodo. Are all your other areas 100% nowhere near? Uh, I think the closest is actually Mondstadt. Yeah, I have 100 in Gale Song and Wind Whale, and 89 in Burt Crown and 92 in Starfield Valley. I honestly don't know what I'm missing. Uh, it's probably some hidden, like, 
uh, either objectives like time trials or just hidden chests. Leeway isn't doing that great. Um, it's gotten a little bit better since I've been going crazy with the treasure compass. It says I've done a lot in Inazuma or Inazuma. 93, 93, 88, 100, 94, 100. It's not true at all. Uh, the exploration progress is just really low. And then Enkinamiya, as we saw earlier, was at 88. But I don't think I have 100% in any place. I think the closest I have is Inazuma, which has total area of progress at 94. But... Have you searched for the chest in all areas? Yeah. I th I've thought about doing some streams of just doing treasure hunting. Just like running around looking for things. I am on the NA... Oh, bit right. I am on the NA server. Which... Made me a little surprised because I thought for sure that this stuff wasn't supposed to happen until tomorrow. But maybe it was April 1st on like a different server because I know NA is usually like two days behind everybody in terms of dates. There's a thing of a jiggy there and another thing of a jiggy there. But we're not going to go there for now. We are going to drop down in here. Open. Investig- ah, gross. No, 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 no. Thank you. Oh, it took all my stuff away. Of course. How rude. Who's out here giving a world quest? Who's chilling in this mine? Who's out here? Well, you know what? You know what, you two? I'll fight you. For no reason other than the fact that why not? You know what I should have done? I should have really left it. I really should have just led with this. And then then the Venti's ult. Well, aren't both of you boring? Here I am waiting to counter. Can't wait for the abyss. Yeah. Finally, Venti should be able to flex in it. That'd be so nice. I got Kokomi, and then I was just like, but there are no enemies to use the freeze team on. And I was very sad. And now, it seems like there will be. I'm excited. Venti Abysses are always fun. Just because I like watching them all get sucked up into the thingamajig. It's just satisfying to watch. Hello, person. We found the cannonballs. They're in perfect shape. How do the fuses look? Not great. They can't be used anymore. How'd that happen? The fuses in here have all been designed in such a way they're, active they're activated by a catalytic reaction with Geo. But the anomalies down here in the mines must have affected them. The geocatalytic elements within the fuses have all turned into this strange, inert blue crystal. So, they're all useless. Well, that's not good. We weren't prepared for such strange going-ons. Well, there definitely were some words in there that Paimon didn't get at all. So, what happens to cannonballs without the fuses? Uh, that's not a very bright question. Also, cannonballs with fuses attached to the cannonballs? Is that how cannons work? I don't think it is, but what, who am I to say? Huh? What was that again? Hi, one can hear you. Nothing. Nothing. I'm just saying that without their fuses, none of these cannonballs would even explode, even if you kick them around like a ball. Oh, they're explosive cannonballs. Because, uh, well... The fuse is what makes the explosive material explode, you know? The fuse reacts with Geo, and then the contents of the cannonball, and then... Wait, so... This cannon just, like, ejected out with Animo? I can't imagine it's a normal, like, black powder cannon. If the actual cannonball is an explosive. And then, boom, right? Yes, boom. But without their fuses, these cannonballs wouldn't explode at all. Ah, oh, this is gonna be tough. 
Aren't geo-reactions themselves inert? Yeah, that's basic alchemical knowledge, that is. However, the potential energy within elements can be quite hard to estimate. Huh. For example, if you were to pressurize geo-elemental particles such that they would be densely packed in a small vessel, an elemental reaction would generate significant explosive force all the same. Huh. That reminds Paimon of the curious abilities used by people with geo-visions. Huh. Then where do they hide all the geo-elements they use? The principles work differently for different for elemental users. That's a completely separate matter to how the miners of Liyue make ad hoc fuses. You know, how does the treasure hoarder from Monset like you know all this stuff better than people from Liyue? Wanna guess? Ah, can we hit this guy already? So... Can we change the fuses? <clears throat> Well, if you trust me, I can make a simple fuse here at the crafting bench. Uh, you know what? It's not that we don't trust you, but you are a treasure hoarder, and you're not a miner either. Who's to say you won't blow us all sky high? What's with everyone then coughing? Just because they're in a mine? We coughed. He coughed. The lady coughed. And even if Paimon does trust you, it's not like Messina would- Well, the job's all yours. Huh? I didn't see Chong say- Alright, alright. Stop explaining already. Ah, uh, what's Paimon gonna do about you? I doubt he'd risk blowing himself sky high as well. We ask Paimon, this is how all the bad guys in stories would want it to go. But since you say so, Paimon will listen to what he has to say. Alright, Klotofo, go ahead. It's not that hard, actually. It's just that there is some minute risk involved, in case you're worried. We just need to get one vial of unmoving essential oil with double the usual density. Isn't that some kind of potion? Exactly. As I said earlier, a double density potion can also serve to catalyze an elemental explosion. I use this principle to collapse in tunnels during my time with the treasure- Uh, sorry. Never mind, I said that. It's fine. We don't really care about your hoarder days. If I might inquire, how minute is this risk? Well, if an accidental explosion occurs, which it might, considering the unstable nature of concentrated essential oils, the explosion shouldn't be able to drastically alter any geological formations. Oh, that's a pretty small explosion then. That's fine. Paimon's not too worried. That said, any organic matter within the explosion radius might experience disintegration, breakage, leakage, separation, and... It's going to be a mess. Paimon didn't get it, but it sure sounds scary. Khadiv has set up a crafting bench back at camp, but we can first attempt to follow the formula to make the essential oils here. If you don't have enough materials in hand, you can find some other way to get the essential oil we need, and we continue from there. Uh, please keep the formula with you. Just follow it, and we'll be fine. In any case, please be careful when walking around with said oil. Shake it too much, or drop it accidentally, and there might be an explosive accident. Alright, alright. Stop trying to scare us already. Interesting. So what does he mean by find someone else to do it? Can we go to What's-Your-Face in Liyue, the perfume seller? I just want a souvenir, is that too much to ask for? Come on, game, you're no fun. It's no fun. I just want to have an extra special unmoving oil for myself. What's with this? What kind of game is this? The essential oils are too powerful. How'd it go? You finished making the um, uh Unmoving essential oil? We got it, and we took good care of it too. Here it is. Huh. Alright, that's it. Don't shake it. Steady now. Alright, looks like this will do. Now we just need to insert the fuse into the cannonball. Katofo busies himself mounting the fuse onto the cannonball. Okay, that should do it. Be careful now, don't bump that thing around everywhere, or things might get lively in here. I'm back with a new map. Go on, have a look. Thanks for your trouble. Convenient. Nice. Ah, uh, it was nothing. I'm just glad to be able to help. How are your things on your end? Did you find the cannonballs? Oh, that was a close-up. Hey, careful, this one's got a fuse in it already. If you move it around too much, we're all going to be done for. Hey, 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 when did you start putting on airs? 
If you were the if you were the one holding the bomb, you'd sound pretty brave too, I'll bet. Is that a threat? Have you stopped hiding your true treasure hoarder in colors already? Well, gonna blow us up now? Look at them. Come on, I've said this before, bombs are indiscriminate. You go on like this, and I don't think it'll matter if, whether I want you to blow up or not. Huh. It's not like I can read your mind or something. Who knows what thoughts you're having in that mind of yours. Hmm. You treasure hoarders are all the same. Criminal minds with criminal mindsets. And now you've even got the bomb with you. Great, huh? And what of that? If I was in your hands, I'd blown this up 30 times by now. Uh, just to clarify, I have the bomb. Sorry, I just don't trust this treasure hoarder. That works for me. I can barely respect someone who jumps at every shadow she sees either. Hey, are you two listening? Okay, okay. Alright, go ahead. So, I'm not asking you two to trust each other or anything, but like, could you not? I know, but he... You didn't even know what we were doing earlier. That's true. She wasn't around to see us working on that bomb, after all. You shut it as well. Wait, first, screenshot. Ellipses. But if you're not gonna- if you don't work together, we're gonna get nowhere fast. Stink eye. This is so funny. This is such a funny scene. The range of expressions is great. Hmm. Don't make me regret joining the exploration team, thanks. <laughs> wow, Messina actually got mad. Let's just drop that argument already, okay? The two of you have already put up some walls before you can even talk. That's no way to properly communicate. Since we're all on the same exploration team, let's just talk nicely, okay? Just this once. Regardless, I'm gonna go operate the Mountainator. I'll go with you. I'll stay in the camp then. Uh, don't get me wrong, I'd love to help, but I think Jin Woo needs my help more. I've also got to thank her for taking me in, you know. Ah, uh, that's fine. I... Since Cena said so, I'll trust you. Not that I didn't before, but... Alright, alright, let's head off before you start arguing again. Yeah. <gasps> the serpent? The serpent? Why can't I zoom in? Is this zoomed... Oops. Is this zoomed all the way in? No way. That's what I thought I was going to say. There's no way this is zoomed in all the way. Look at you. Interesting. So I guess we're going over here next. Very. Ah. Ah. No, game, don't do this to me. Not now. Not now. Actually, what are we doing? We're just gonna go blow this thing up, right? There are leaves around, and I know just the tune to accompany them, if you wish to hear it. Uh, low lamp post, high frequency flicker. Oh, I see. Low lamp post, high frequency. Middle lamp post, low frequency. High lamp post, low frequency. I understand. Oh, it's just showing me where they are. Okay, so everything's set to low. I assume this is low. I assume they're just gonna treat. Follow the wind. Time to go. Nah, uh, short flickers as fat as high and slow flickers as low. Where was that last one? Is that... A chest I see? Sorry, Mirror Maiden. You've been consigned to the... 
realm of You're not dead? Too powerful. Time for take off. <laughs> Let's play. Rest and rebuild. Here we go. Too powerful. I'll have to go even further beyond. Oh. No, don't mark me, please. Thank you. Brace yourself. Wouldn't Wind strike. This body belongs. Please let me out. Please let me out. Thank you. The more of the merrier. The first round's on me. Now, where is this last one? There are two things that we could do right now. The first would be run around like a headless chicken and then try and find it. The second one would be to go back to the teleport waypoint, have it marked on the map, and then go fly to it. So I think we're going to do that second one. There's one, two, and three all the way down there. Hmm... I wish there was more, like, vertical mobility in this game. Or at least that it was easier to climb. I don't think this is the right place. Maybe it is. Oh, it is. I'm gonna have to fight you, my guy, so I'm not gonna fight you. Time to go. We should be able to load the cannonball now. Be careful, the fuse has already been mounted. Ah, uh, if we had known we had to do this, we should have just mounted the fuse here and loaded the cannon all at once. That's all water under the bridge right now, Paimon. Give me a hand over here, please. You load the cannon safely. I've forgotten Xu Chong's voice. Use the great cannon to destroy the ceiling rocks. Boom. Oh, I can't move it anymore. Rip. I was trying to see if I could spin it around and hit enemies with it. <gasps> I don't think I've seen that animation before. Look, we've done it! Awesome! Bullseye! All according to Keikaku. Looks like that Klitopo doesn't know what he's talking about after all. Guess we blamed him unjust- Oh, it does know what he was talking about after all. Guess we blamed him unjustly. You mean you blamed him unjustly? I'm going to apologize when you have the time. Ah, uh, you were right. I was too hasty. Paimon wonders what's up ahead. Oh, it's scary, but it's also exciting. Shall we continue onward? Yes. Let's go. Next stream. Oh. <gasps> because we're not going further in. Not today. Nope. Uh, and we're also not going in there tomorrow, I don't believe. Ooh, wait. Wait. Oh, yes. We are not doing, uh, we are not gonna go in there now. And we will not go in there tomorrow. Uh, ooh, bitrate. No, please. No, bitrate. But, we will. Where should we go?
Hmm. Why don't we go to this part? It's the chasm. We will be exploring the rest of this sometime later. How specific? Tomorrow, if all things go well, I've got something planned for April Fools. And if not, then rip. For the set day, um, I think that we're gonna try to go for Danganronpa. I'm gonna, I gotta do some test stuff beforehand, make sure everything that well, works out all right. And then Monday, we will do something. Presumably, it will be the Chasm. Tuesday, I think, will be Scarlet Nexus again. And then we might alternate for a little bit. And then I have some more April specific content that I would like to go through. So now that I've really zoomed up in Kazuo's face, we're gonna use those two fates they gave us. What are we gonna get? Please give me something. Please. 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 Oh. Oh. Please. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Debate club? Debate club? What's your pity? Wasn't it high? Uh, it's at 70 exactly, I think. Yeah. So this puts me at 8 out of 10 for my 4 star guarantee. But if we go through all of here... Oops. Yes, it is exact. It is. It was exactly seventy. Now it's seventy-two. So once we get the other two acquaint fates from the tree from the lumen stone, we will hit our four star pity, and we will get something. And there's a ninety-nine percent chance that it will be. The bell. Your Inazuma tree is done, yes? Yes, it is. I have all of the relevant trees except for the chasm. We get tomorrow because of... Oh. Yes. The monthly resets. That is a thing. I forgot about that. Oh. These do reset, don't they? 11 hours. <gasps> but uh, I probably won't get it tomorrow because I won't pull tomorrow. I'll probably buy them, but I'll probably save those for Monday. When we stream next time, just so I can have something happen on stream. But that is it for today. Um, I'm going to go prep stuff for tomorrow and also maybe eat dinner and hopefully tomorrow we don't have the same kind of scuff we have yesterday if Wherever trends can in this world i roam i carry memories of my home this blade it is the last link i have to the land of my birth thank you kaza <laughs> um and yes, commissions. I do need to do those. Did I get anything good today? No, I got Ellen. Rip. Did I get Ella Musk? No, thank you. When do you reset, Barlabas? Oh, 11 hours. Nice. Um... Yes. Tomorrow... I'm going to... Oh. Flag. I'm going... That looked weird. That was pretty funny. The sword clipped into the camera. Um, I'm going to... Try to sort out why the bitrate's all over the place. And also run some other test streams. So that might be fun. I might be streaming like way later at night. With like no audio. And potentially no game. <laughs> so... That'll be fun. But anyway, tomorrow, April. April 1st. And I thought there was something I wanted to talk about. Earlier in the stream. But I don't remember now. And if I don't remember it, it can't have been that important, right? 
So instead, I'm going to do a once over on the map, see if it comes back to my mind, and I'm going to say it's definitely not coming back to my mind. And say that... It's time to say goodbye. So... And I guess one last reminder. Special stream tomorrow, maybe. Danganronpa on Saturday. That's probably going to be a later in the day. Uh, as opposed to our normal times. A little later. And then... Monday. More Chasm. Then Tuesday, Scarlet Nexus. Then... Wednesday is Wednesday, and potentially we'll be back here, chasming. Something like that. Oh! Triangle strategy. Project triangle strategy working demo. Oh wait, no, it's just triangle strategy the now. Scenery is wonderful. I'm excited to play Surely that to uh, to soon too. I will probably start that Two weeks from now. Just because... I'm trying to get things... I'm trying to make sure everything's really consistent and we're not flip-flopping all over the place. And we've got a lot of stuff planned, or at least potentially a lot of stuff planned for this next week, so we'll do that. Anyway, that's the real end. I've, I think I've said the exact same thing about five different times now. So, uh, you know, it is what it is. Really good at doing that. Kind of a staple of the channel. Wherever of... in this world I roam. Kazuha, you know I what? No. 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 Um. With that. This is the real ending. And I really will say goodbye. And I really will uh, go to the ending transition this time. There's nothing funny I can think of. No funny songs that I can think of to play. So we're just going to do the normal outro. So anyway. Uh, for like the fifth time now. April Fool stream tomorrow, Dying Rampa Saturday, Genshin Monday, Scroll Out Nexus Tuesday, and then that's already four days in advance, and that's more than I ever planned these streams. Bye. Oh. Music sounds really weird. Is this just me? I think it's just me. Oh no, bitrate. No, no, bitrate. Bitrate, stop. No. No, wait. Oh, I got a. Wait, what? I got a name card? When did I get a name card? What? What? Engine said I got a name card. Wait, hold on. Hold on, hold on a second. Hold on, what's this about name cards? What happened? Wait, what? Wait, what is this? Change name card? What name card? Oh. It's just Kaya's name card that I haven't uh, viewed from the profile yet, so it marked it as new. Oops. Okay. That's pretty funny. Anyway. I'll mute now. Come back. You don't do that to me at the end. <laughs>